Hi, Louisiana Tech fans. This is Tommy McClellan, Athletic Director at Louisiana Tech. We want to welcome you to our first ever episode of Hashtag Talking Tech. Well, Madison, thank you for that question. Um, all in all, I think it's the people. Uh, when you have an opportunity to, uh, to get to know each and every person and you realize there's a, there's a unity, uh, having a privilege of serving on the, on the, on the president's leadership team and, and being a part of that, uh, it's very obvious that everyone on campus, uh, whether you're in academics, whether you're in athletics or student life, uh, really come together and work towards a common vision for this university. And as the athletics director, it gives me the great pride of knowing that I serve a greater purpose. And then in terms of my assessment of athletics, uh, we have a great fan base uh, that's very passionate and very loyal, very supportive of our, our student athletes and our coaches, um, and show up for events, help financially, and really do the things to make us uh, a very good program as we move forward. So my assessment obviously has been very productive, but one of unity uh, and one of passion and support, uh, Louisiana Tech University and Louisiana Tech Athletics. Well, thank you for that question, Phil. Um, adding any sports is a process. And so uh, things have changed over the different years and generations of how you add sports and how you approach that. Um, there's definitely a data collection process and uh, Title IX comes into play and um, seeing what the emerging sports are in the industry and where you can compete and how you can compete. You know, we added, a, our most recent sport that we added was uh, women's bowling not too long ago. And so uh, as we look at how we uh, build our portfolio of sports, we go into a lot of research, go into a lot of data of what are the emerging sports, what are the, what are, what it's being done around our area, uh, what is being done within our conference, uh, in, in order, does it make financial sense? Uh, is there Title IX restrictions or do we have pressure with our, our numbers? Currently, we're, we're very balanced with our, our requirements in Title IX. Uh, so at this point, we're not looking to add any sports, although that landscape is always monitored. It's always uh, evaluated and see where do we need to go, what's our next step, and, and whether we ever do that or not, uh, be sure it would be a very calculated and very thought out decision on how we would go about adding a sport and, uh, and really adding to our, our enhancement for our student athletes and our student life here on campus. Well, Marvin, the, the, the biggest key is, is, is money. You know, I mean, you can't, uh, you cannot do facilities or upgrade your athletics department in any way, whether you're upgrading the, you know, the, the coaching pool or the, the, you know, being able to attract good coaches or whether you're having great recruiting budgets uh, or whether you're building athletic facilities. It takes great support. Early on in, in, in my time here, we were very fortunate to get some significant gifts um, in, in monetary that were allowed us to move forward, not only with the video board, uh, but allowed us to move forward with the south end zone. We're not completed uh, in terms of raising money. We still got to raise some money for those to finish them out. Uh, which you can still do and be a part of, whether you've already given and now have an opportunity to give again, or whether you've never given and you want to support any one of these two projects or other projects, but it's definitely about support. But it's also about not just financial support, but support from your administration and from the university, and we certainly have that here. That's existed for a long time at Louisiana Tech on how they view Louisiana Tech athletics, and certainly Dr. Geis and his staff uh, certainly value uh, what we're trying to do from a facilities growth standpoint. And uh, those are the things that are very critical as we move forward in this day and age. Uh, support from the administration, financial support as we move forward. So again, if you haven't already given, we ask you that you would consider contributing to our uh, facility improvement projects, which will help not only enhance the atmosphere for our student athletes, but also our fans. Well, James, it, it's, uh, it's always a different feeling. And, and certainly I have somewhat experienced this, although on a little, little different level of my first time at McNeese uh, when we played Northwestern State, which is where I, I went to school and, and graduated from. So you spend enough time at a place, you get to know uh, the student athletes, get to know the coaches. And, uh, and you invest a lot of time in them. I, I've spent a lot of time sitting on the edge of my seat cheering for, for those, those players that played the other night. Uh, it, it certainly is different. And I had a great visit with them before the game and, and got to see Coach Dave Simmons, who played here at Louisiana Tech, and, uh, and Steve Welch, who coached here at Louisiana Tech. Uh, uh, it's the people and it's the connection to those people that make it special. Every one of the student athletes at McNeese came over and gave me and my wife a hug. That means a lot. At the end of the day, that's why we do what we do. We are invested.
and in the lives of student athletes. So although it was difficult, make no mistake about it, I was pulling for Tech 100%. I make the analogy that um, when you, you know, when you have a family member, your brother, and you're playing them in the backyard, you want to beat them worse than anyone on the block. You really want to beat your brother. I wanted to beat McNeese really bad and make sure that we, we you know, that we won the game. So I, I obviously pull for Tech 100%. Uh, but at the same token, uh, I have great respect for them and really appreciate the time that I had there and, and really, really appreciate the relationships that were built. Just like the relationships that are being built here at Tech, I appreciate those that I had the opportunity to build at McNeese. And, uh, you know, as time goes along, it'll be a little bit more stronger at Tech. But, uh, but it was a special night, and I'm glad the dogs won. Well, Luke, one of the things that I'm very proud of, uh, of being in Conference USA is that we, we have a lot of options. You know, as our previous experiences in other conferences, you know, it puts us in a position where we'd have to win the league or, or be a strong second or third. Uh, now with Conference USA, this past year we had a, a bowl lineup of six solid bowls. Um, and, and moving forward, uh, the bowl lineup is fantastic. We've, we're going to have a bowl uh, in Boca Raton. We're going to have a bowl tie-in to uh, the Bahamas, uh, as well as some, some second and third dairy uh, tie-ins that, that include some local areas like Shreveport and, and the Advocare uh, Independence Bowl. And so I think those are some great options for us as we move forward. But the greatest thing is knowing that you're in a league that has strong bowl tie-ins to where you have opportunities. I mean, you can have a strong year and get in. You can have a, a, a good year or a rebuilding year and get in and have good postseason opportunities. So for us, looking at our bowl lineups in the future and how that impacts us, that's why you make the move. That's why you take the investment and make the investment to go from one league to the next because it provides you and your student athletes and your fans an opportunity, an opportunity to continue on in playing uh, in the postseason, uh, which builds excitement, it builds fans, fan base, uh, it moves the program forward, and that's our goal. That's where we want to be. We all obviously want to compete at a very high level, and being in Conference USA gives us that great opportunity. And in closing, I, I do want to thank everyone for sending in their questions and encourage you to continue on uh, doing this as we go out through the year. We're going to have other coaches and other administrators that will come on this talking tech, uh, which provides a, d a direct insight uh, to, to our athletics program, how we operate, the ins and outs, Appreciate your input and your and your thoughts. Uh, I would say this as we as we close is I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve a great university. I want to thank you for the opportunity to, to live in such a great community as Ruston in, in North Central Louisiana. What a great place. I, I've said this before the day that I was announced as the athletic director. There's never been a greater time to be a Louisiana Tech fan. And I think that that's still the same. I encourage all of you to, to continue to support, to continue to come to games, to continue to come back to campus. Uh, but we wish you and your family a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year during this time of year, and God bless each and every one of you.